What if I could automate your entire workflow, AI powered, self hosted and completely under your control? Imagine running your own automation warehouse with N8N for workflow automation and DeepSeek as your private AI engine, all self hosted on Cloud Bean for full flexibility and security. Hey, my name is Kunal Nak and I help businesses and professionals leverage AI to streamline operations without the cloud lock-in. In this video, I'm going to show you how to self-host N810, the ultimate open source workflow automation tool, AI agentic native that too. Integrate DeepSeek AI for private intelligent decision making, deploy everything on CloudBeans so you get scalability without complexity, no SaaS fees, no data privacy concerns, just pure seamless automation. Let's dive in. So first we'll begin with the CloudBeans platform. I'm on the CloudBean console. In case you don't have the link, you can just go to cloudbean.com and uh, get it, get registered, sign in. So first thing that we need to do is add a server. So I'm just going to say add a server and I'm going to select the server, any one of the cloud providers that you want, select your applications. I, start, I like to start with N8N here that is available under the tools section. So N8N and then select your location and give your application name. And I would like to at least go with 4 GB for this N8 and application. But if you're using DeepSeek, you would need at least an 8 GB to start off with. It's roughly $150 or 11,000 rupees INR. Anyway, so once I select this, uh, you will it will take some time for the server to spin up. And as you can see, I already have a server and it's easy. There's not going to be anything, any issues. It's going to be pretty straightforward. Then what you can do is uh, by default, you will see that the N8N is already added. So I'm going to click on this N8N and it's going to open up a platform like this. So I'm going to first install this and later also while that is happening, while you're we are installing, uh, while you're installing the N8N, you you also want to add application and just go to here and just select on DeepSeek. Uh, that's here. Select this and just say add application and let it run because it takes some time for it to install all of that. So when you do that, you'll see that DeepSeek will be installed and by the time uh, you have registered your N810 workflow, DeepSeek will be readily available. And by the way, I've also hosted Open Web UI where I can have my own DeepSeek uh, application there and it's already, I can select the various models that are available in Olama and I can have my own personal chat GPT. I'll be placing a link to creating this one uh, in the comment section below and you can definitely check it out and not only that you can basically host a lot of olama models uh, such as olama let's go to olama here and you can add various different models uh, if you just ask the team to add the model that you want to do they will add it uh, but it, it, you need to have some capacity to be able to run it and i recommend that you choose some light models before you go into heavy models anyway ways. so now now you have your NHA application and deep seek now we just need to integrate this two and make it work so to do that first of all you need to create a registration here so i'm just going to fill in all my details and i'm just going to put in a password here right so this is going to be here and i just says next Okay, I'm going to select this randomly here, data science, myself, less than 20 people I saw this in YouTube. I'm just going to say get started and yeah, I, I and you will need a license key to this for this to activate. So I'm going to say send me a free license key and I'm going to go to Gmail and then access the license key that I have here. So let's go here and I should be able to get a free license key. Yeah, so I'm just going to click on this, copy this, go back to my workflow here and then just say usage and plan. So I'm just going to click on this and uh, enter activation key and I'm going to paste this here. So just like that, you have unlimited workflows available for you to do compared to the N8N application uh, subscription model that is available, right? So. For those of you who don't know n8n.io, it is a AI native workflow automation and you can see the pricing here, right? So you can use it in the subscription model or you can self host it and only just pay for the hosting and uh, you know everything else 
can be uh, taken care i uh, have to be taken care by you but yeah uh, you know and you can add multiple users here there are some limitations uh, but you know having it hosted here on cloudbean is much more easier for me to handle it and you can definitely add your own users here um, NA, NA, NA10 API keys here, uh, any community nodes you want, it will be available here. You can do your SSO and stuff like that. For that, you need to activate a enterprise plan, but more, for most small and medium businesses, this is going to be good enough. Anyway, so once the NA10 is done, we need to ensure that the DeepSeek is connected here and we are able to use it. So I'm just going to use a tester ready to go AI agent sample here. Just click on that. I'd load the sample here. All I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the OpenAI model and I want to put, put the Olama model here, right? So I'm going to say delete here and I'm going to delete this one also. Add here and let's say go for the Olama chat model. I'm just going to create a credential here and it's just going to be localhost 1143, the default here, okay? So I'm just going to save that here and it should be able to, uh, couldn't connect, it'll, it'll say something like that which means we need to put some some other links uh, available here. So I think so it is going to be, let me just go back here. Either the local host should be directly available. Let me see if I can just add this here. Okay. Uh, Yeah, the model here should be something like this. Either it, either it should be the local host or maybe with this one. Let's see which is the one. Ready, try, save. Okay, this is not the one, definitely. And I just need to go to maybe with the link and be able to do it. Okay, so I'm going to go here. And I'm going to put, yeah, that 127001, that's the one, right? So let me, let's say, save it. Yes, that's connected successfully, right? So if you go to the documentation, you have some various rings which will work. In this case, 127.0.0.111434, uh, if, if it's your local, you can do local host and do it and it'll work. But here with this, we have this one available. So just like that, you connected your Olama model. And now I can close this and, uh, you know, uh, once this is selected, you can select the models that you want. I can select my DeepSeek model here, right? And be able to work with it or Llama latest and be able to work with it also. So I just do go back here and then basically go here and chat and be able to do stuff, right? So I'm just going to remove this for now, even remove this and just say hi for now and just see if it's working, right? So I'm going to say hi. And it's going to go there. The agent is going to go there, uh, access my Olama chat model or a deep seek model that I have, which is hosted on uh, Cloudbean and be able to provide a response to it. So this is how you basically self host your N810, your own model and take your workflows into your control. And this is safe and secure because both of these things are hosted on your own server to get your response here right so this is definitely cool as you increase the server size the speed will increase the response rate will increase and you'll only be paying for that but it, it's going to be a powerhouse imagine running like uh, hundreds thousands of workflows uh, getting powered and you're just only paying for the hosting cost right so that's how cool it is so let me know what you think in the comment section what kind of workflows and what kind of uh, open source tools we could host on Cloudbean and uh, you want me to experiment and, and be able to do it, right? So more than willing to work on that and ensuring that you uh, get workflows or become AI agentic uh, and not stay behind, right? With the self-hosted solutions. And just like that, you now have a fully automated AI powered workflow running on your own infrastructure, secure, cost-effective, and completely under your control. But here's the thing, automation is only powerful when you put it to work. I placed a link to Cloudbean's hosting in the description. Sign in and get started today. Got questions or ideas for automation setups? Drop a comment below and see you in the next one. Also, I placed some starter automations in the comment section. Do check them out if you want to get started immediately.